Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Realm of Ori. In this video, we will continue with Volume 16, Chapter 1, The Betrayal, Part 9. And before we start, this video contains spoilers from the Tensura Light Novel. And by the way guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications for upcoming videos. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Velgrind was no longer in the world. At the same time, fate began to change. Confirmed. Over time and space, a soul corridor has been set up with a person named Velgrind. Masayuki was getting more and more confused when that person showed up. He thought at first that it was just a huge amount of energy. But it wasn't like that. It looked like a person. The shape of a very pretty and sad woman. The scorched dragon Velgrind had now shown herself. Kornu was also confused by how quickly things had changed, and he just stared at Velgrind. Same thing for Sariel, who was waiting for Kornu to tell her what to do. That was as far as someone with a new ego could go. All the Imperial soldiers there got it right away. The person in front of them was the most powerful being who had for so long protected the Empire. It was said that she was fighting Veldora at the moment, but that didn't seem to be the case, because Velgrind was now tightly hugging Masayuki. Everyone thought this was the right way to act when facing your lover. Rudra, I've been trying to find you for a long time. Wanting to see you always, always, always. After she said that, Velgrind looked at Masayuki with tears in her eyes. Then, she put her hands gently on his cheeks and kissed him passionately. Masayuki was taken aback, his brain exploded, and he lost his cool head in an instant. This frighteningly beautiful woman had given him a hug, which was fine, but what happened next was the problem. First kiss. Even so, this beautiful woman was still kissing him. Masayuki felt like he would soon run out of air. He was in a situation where he was having good luck from heaven, but he knew that bad luck was waiting for him. Since he was going to die soon anyway, he might as well be glad he got to kiss before he did. He came to this conclusion and gave up trying to change it. As Masayuki's face became more dreamy, he became more and more confused. Now that he knew what he wanted to do, all he had to do was enjoy the situation. And that attitude only made it harder for people to understand what was going on. His majesty is very smart. It might be rude, but I feel exactly the same way. It's a pleasure to see two adults who love each other so much and look at each other with such deep affection. I can feel the strong bond that doesn't let anyone else in. Fufu. Velgrind Sama is a love-struck maiden. So the dragon that protects the empire is in love with his majesty. Yes. Now it's safe for the empire. Stop being a fool, Velgrind. Michael Sama is meant to be in charge of you. Then why are you in my way? From Kornu's point of view, Velgrind was just one of the pieces that had already been won. Now that she was there to get in his way, he was very unhappy and angry. Hey, that's not very nice. You can only be so stupid as to get in our way so many times. Velgrind finally got away from Masayuki and gave Kornu a sad look. Even though her look scared him, Kornu couldn't stop himself. Shut up. Quit messing around and just work together. Strangle to death that guy you're holding. Kornu had never thought that what he said might affect Velgrind's reverse scale. You just told me to kill this guy, right? The war zone went quiet. Only Kornu didn't understand what was going on, so he yelled in his anger. Don't force me to say it again, Velgrind. Even though you may be stronger than me, I am the one in charge here. All you need to do is do what I say. Kornu didn't realize what was going on until the very end. He was too busy to notice that Velgrind was different from before. You're going to die. It was a very hard hit. Velgrind was much stronger after he came back to life. She used her magic skills to completely destroy Kornu by setting it on fire. Kornu didn't fight back. Instead, he vanished from the world without giving anyone a chance to answer. Last time, I let you off the hook, but you're really stupid. I had almost forgotten about my bad feelings toward Feldway, but I guess I shouldn't have. Velgrind threw up, and then she looked at Sariel. Oh, this is Kronoa, the person who helped me. Don't worry, I won't do anything because there's no reason to. Michael's control over Hope King Sariel, the ultimate skill, seems to have given it a personality, but that girl is fighting against it on her own. She has stopped moving, which proves that. If you're still worried, Rimuru can look at it later if you want. I'm sure he'll do what needs to be done. I don't think that will be needed, though. Velgrind was done talking, and she turned her back on Sariel, Kronoa. When Masayuki saw that Velgrind didn't look at all worried, she finally felt better. And that was the end of the battle. There were a lot of people who were just as happy as Masayuki, but there were also some who got nervous and started moving around because they felt awkward. 
Those who knew who Velgrind was were the ones who were worried. Bernie, who was standing next Masayuki, was the first to take action. Lord Marshal, I'm Bernie, and I'm number seven in the single-digit hierarchy. Lord Marshal, may peace be with you. No need to give a salute. So, what are you saying? Yes, I didn't do what the commander told me to do and gave up on my mission to kill this boy, Masayuki. I know that my crime is bad enough to deserve death, but before I am punished, I would like to ask you for something, Lord Marshal. Again, there was silence everywhere. After hearing Bernie's words, the soldiers finally figured out that Velgrind was the marshal, the top leader of the Imperial Guard. A lot of people weren't sure what to think, but most of them were sure. As their understanding grew over time, they finally saw the truth. Velgrind would punish those who were seen as losers. It wasn't worth trying to stop her. They had no choice but to wait for her decision when they saw an absolute marshal who would destroy even this labyrinth. They had no choice but to get in line and wait for the judge. Even though things were getting tense, the conversation went on. What's that? We will always be loyal to the Empire. No matter what His Majesty the Emperor wants, we know we have to do what he says. So, I'd like to ask for your permission to let the soldiers go home. I, along with the other executives, don't mind taking responsibility for our punishments, but, enough. When he was stopped, Bernie gave up. He wanted to cry because he felt like he couldn't help them and that he couldn't change their fate. But Velgrind laughed when she saw Bernie. Did you misunderstand me, dear? You've all done an excellent job for a bunch of idiots, and I applaud you. I thank you for taking care of my dear Rudra. I never intended to do anything to you guys to begin with. Rudra is the only thing that matters to me, and also because Rudra cares about you guys, I will also protect you. That's how it was before, how it is now, and how it will always be in the future. Velgrind's statements were as if they were gospel. Cheers came from the soldiers. Some cried tears of happiness. Calgurio and Minutes were deeply moved and convinced by what Velgrind said, just like everyone else. In the end, the crowd kept chanting, Long live the Empire, over and over again. Long live His Majesty, they shouted, while Masayuki stood there and had no idea what the hell they were talking about. If I understand what they just said right, they really do think I'm Emperor Rudra. I should have said it before now. Bernie already knows the truth, anyway. If it gets out, I'll have to answer for it. And the kiss. I'll be dead. Masayuki's name wasn't Rudra, but no one seemed to care for some reason. He felt like he was losing his mind or something. To be honest, the kiss made Masayuki very happy. But he was sure that getting involved was not what he had in mind. You seem sad. What's wrong? You can tell me if something is still bothering you. Huh? No, no, it's nothing. I'm not thinking about anything. Perhaps you do not remember me? Masayuki thought he was being tested to see if he knew the right answer. The consequences of giving the wrong answer were impossible to imagine. Even though all Masayuki wanted to say was, give me a break, he tried very hard to think. If you asked him if he remembered her, the answer was yes. He knew that the beautiful woman he had seen in his first world was her. Didn't that guy just call her Velgrind? Velgrind might have been Veldora San's sister, there were rumors that she was so strong that it was crazy. People said she was a protector of the empire or something. Velgrind San, wasn't it? When Velgrind heard the answer, her face lit up with joy. Yes, you were right. Rudra, you remembered me. Masayuki's luck had not yet left him here, either. Velgrind was very happy when he just said her name. That wasn't all, though. Oh, I see now why you were looking so sad. I was so delighted to see you that I had forgotten your name was Masayuki. Yes, you are correct. Actually, my name is Masayuki, not Rudra. So that's why I'm a little confused. There's nothing to worry about. The empire is worth nothing more than what Rudra owns. Rudra only did it because it was his hobby, and he kept it because he needed it for his game with Guy. If you don't want it anymore, why don't we just burn it clean? It was a true statement about something beyond the world, like God. The soldiers of the empire all had pale faces. All of them looked right at Masayuki. Stop stop. Don't stare at me that way. Don't blame me. No, it's important to keep the empire. Rimuru-san wished to be friends with them in the future, as well. When the war is over, let's set up friendly diplomatic relations. In short, Masayuki fought very hard to keep the empire from being burned to the ground. All of the imperial soldiers started looking at Masayuki as if he were a god, with worshipful eyes. If Masayuki hadn't fought against it, the empire would have fallen. Everyone knew this, which is why they liked and respected Masayuki so much. Really? If you so desire, then I'll just keep working with you as usual. After saying that, Velgrind smiled. The imperial soldiers, on the other hand, 
let out a sigh of relief. In the middle of this, Calgario asked a question on behalf of the group. I'm sorry to bother you right now, even though everything has been settled, but I want to make sure of one thing. What's that? Yes, it is about the current emperor, Rudra Sama. What will happen next to His Majesty Rudra? When Velgrind heard this, she also said she understood. Yes, you're right. After all, you can't see what the true nature of the soul is really like, can you? The Rudra is now nothing but a hollow shell. But my beloved Masayuki was able to get the real Rudra's soul. Huh? Me? Yes. There is no doubt that you are, Rudra, even without your memories, therefore I adore you and will strive to make you love me as well. Uh, yeah. What man wouldn't get excited if a beautiful woman said that to him? No, there's none. Masayuki was no different. Even though she liked him right now, there was no guarantee that she would always like him. So, to keep his good luck, he promised to work even harder. But he didn't say what he would do. That was a question for the future. Masayuki had already decided what to do, but there was still a problem. Then Masayuki-sama must be the real emperor. Huh? You're right. But it might not be easy. He comes from a completely different line of ancestors. Even if we say he is the emperor's son by another woman, that won't work. It would be impossible to hide. Hold on, what? It makes no difference. Calgurio Dono will put down the army, and I will take care of the nobles. It's all right, they can't argue. We can't take any chances because if we fail, the empire will be destroyed anyway. Minutes was the one who proposed the remedy when Calgurio established the course and Bernie mentioned the concern. All of the soldiers there were willing to help the plan as much as they could. The plan moved forward step by step, and Masayuki didn't even have a chance to say anything. I hope that works out for you, Masayuki. That, I shouldn't be able to say no? Masayuki gave up since he didn't think it was possible. His life would go down in history, but it had just begun.